So let's talk about addition reactions of alkene and addition reactions of alkene is basically turning an alkene into an alkane. And it's basically, in other words, turning an unsaturated compound into a saturated compound. Well, first things first, I just want to point out something important you guys need to know, which is how do we get alkenes in the first place? Well, so we want to talk about how do we prepare alkenes. So we prepare alkenes by basically cracking alkanes. So by cracking alkanes. And in the, in the previous video, when we discussed cracking of alkanes, we said cracking of alkanes either produces two short-chained alkenes or one short-chain alkene and a hydrogen gas. So, let's see. What if we want to crack ethane? So, ethane has two carbons and the rest are hydrogens and it's a saturated compound since all the bonds are single. Now, if we crack this using a catalyst at a temperature greater than 800 degrees Celsius, what do we get? We get an ethene. So we get ethene and we get hydrogen gas. And that's that. This is how we come up with our alkene, and in this case it's ethene from ethane. Now, this is how do we prepare alkenes. Now, now, let's talk about addition reactions of alkenes. And as I said, the addition reactions basically turn an unsaturated compound, which is the alkenes, into a saturated compound. So, let's see. In this video, we're going to talk about three different addition reactions, and I hope they're going to be easy for you guys. So, let's get started. Well, the first reaction is the addition of hydrogen. And in this case, we're dealing with ethene and hydrogen. Now, hydrogen is one H bonded to another H. Now, as we said, in addition reactions, we're, we're expecting a saturated compound. So, what's the saturated version of ethene? Well, it has to have single bonds and therefore it's an alkane. So, what's the alkane of ethene? Well, obviously, it's ethane. So, we're going to get ethane from this reaction only. So, in this reaction, basically what it does, if we want to turn an alkene into an alkane, we use hydrogen. So, let's write this as a note. If we want to turn an alkene into an alkane, we add hydrogen. So let's move on to the next reaction and it's the reaction of water with alkene. So we have ethene again and water. And in water we have one oxygen bonded to two hydrogens. Now this reaction yields an alcohol and also this reaction yields a saturated compound meaning it all of its bonds are single so what do we expect we expect all of the bonds to be single and we also expect an alcohol so what do we get so we get ethanol and ethanol has an OH bonded to it and the rest are hydrogens you can think of it as this OH bonded to this carbon and this H bonded to the other side. And this reaction broke the double bond and formed single bonds. Now let's move on to the last reaction. And this reaction is basically a test. And it's a test for unsaturated hydrocarbon. 
and in this reaction we add bromine water so this is bromine water and bromine water is orange now here we also have ethene so this is ethene and we have bromine and if the orange color fades therefore we have an unsaturated compound and the resulting compound is 1 to dibromoethane and why is it called 1 to dibromoethane well this is the first carbon this is the second carbon so what the name indicates is that we have two bromines and their location is on the first carbon and the second carbon and dibromo is because we have two two bromines and it's an ethane because it's a saturated compound now that's that for this video so in this video we talked about how do we prepare alkenes and we said we do that by cracking an alkane and we also talked about three different addition reactions and we said the addition reaction of hydrogen is we use it when we want to turn an alkene into an alkane and then we talked about the reaction with water and we said if you want to produce an alcohol we add water to an alkene and finally we talked about the addition of bromine and we said this is a test to know whether the hydrocarbon is an unsaturated compound or not meaning it has double bonds or not and that's that for this video i hope this was clear for you guys now we're done with alkenes in the next video we're going to talk about polymerization so stay tuned and good luck